any doubt in previous classes hi good morning anton hi good morning um no okay ashuti i also don't have okay i didn't perform any uh any uh, practical so far because i was so busy in weekends uh, i will probably do today okay okay no problem uh but please be focus on practical side which is very important otherwise you know whatever you are learning if you are only learning theoretically you will not get that much confident into that service that's why okay for sure mm -hmm. so today we are going to do more practical in volumes and snapshot so in last session i have created one virtual machine in which i was i have created one extra volume of 4 gb so today we will explore from here only so let me start this machine so we have created one windows machine under that machine we were having by default we were having 130 gb of volume and the extra volume which we have attached it is 4 gb so today what we will do we will try to share this volume in region or in the same region in the same availability zone and in uh, other region also okay So if we will go inside this volume tab, under this you will be able to see one more volume. This so let me name it as extra volume so that we can identify. And this is thirty GB of root volume. Now first understand what is root volume and what is normal volume. Okay, RDP. okay see we are done with the rdp we are now inside with the machine also let me short it hmm. if we will go inside this folder okay so there are two volumes one is c drive and d drive so what do you understand by uh, this root volume while uh, listening this term root volume what one first thing come in your mind what could be the root volume which is at, which is attached with the system and the other one is like a pen drive or network attached a volume yeah it's see uh, yeah kind of correct but uh, let me show you one diagram let me tell you one thing uh, how to explain that see okay just hold for a uh, uh, one second i'll explain you what is root volume you will automatically understand let me show you first practical then you will understand see leave this part this is a d drive right this is normal volume so i am creating some of the sample files or so some of the sample folders here sample uh, for gb Okay, let me create a file also. Four GB volume file. Okay. Now, what is this? These two files are very important. For example, and I want to share this particular volume with other person also or other machine also. Suppose you are having one more machine here, and I want to share the complete uh, volume with you. So, what I will do? let me explore see this machine is in uh, us east 1 e region now let me create one more uh, machine 
विंडो विंडो वॉल्यूम टू एग्जाम्पल एंड वन विंडोज मशीन ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज की पेयर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग द सेम की पेयर हियर इन साइड दिस एडिट ऑप्शन यू विल एबल टू सी द वी पी सी दैट इज द डिफॉल्ट वी पी सी बट यू विल एबल टू सी द सिक्स अवेलेबिलिटी जोन्स बिकॉज नॉर्थ वर्जीनिया इज हैविंग सिक्स अवेलेबिलिटी जोन्स सो वी वर हैविंग अवर ओल्ड मशीन इन वन ई नाउ लेट मी ट्राई टू क्रिएट इन इन डिफरेंट रीजन सी नाउ आई एम क्रिएट आई हैव क्रिएटेड एंड आई पी एस द सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप इज ऑल्सो सेम like this and leaving all the thing same launch instance and i also creating one more machine instance launch window volume two and i'm creating this in same region 1e in the meantime machines are creating let me explain you what i am trying to achieve see we are having one machine which is in <clears throat> one e region which is having two volumes one and two first one is of 30 gb and the second one is 4 gb i have two important files available in 4 gb ebs volume or two important file i have okay now i have one more machine and other machine also one is in one a region a uh, one a zone and the other one is in same one e zone they both are also having same 30 GB of volume. So we are not talking about right now the 30 GB volume. We are more focused on 4 GB volume. What I want, I want to share this 4 GB volume with this machine also and with this machine also. So for uh, not directly sharing, I want to attach this volume directly. For example, I want to attach this 4 GB volume instead of this virtual machine. I want to attach with any of them or both of them. so how can we do that one point there are two three use case i will tell you this is first use case i want to remove this volume completely from here and i want to attach with this machine so how i can attach first one volume can be attached with the uh, one machine only so we have only one volume of 4 gb so we can only attach with one machine either it could be with this machine or with this machine or with this machine so if i will try to attach with other machine i need to first remove this from this uh, machine this is machine number 1 machine number 2 and machine number 3 so if i wanted to attach this 4 gb volume with machine number 3 i need to first remove it from the machine number 1 one point while attaching this machine first i need to detach so i will detach and at when i will detach this volume will be in available state this will be now available you can attach it with any of the machine but when you will go and go to the screen and you will select that okay now i want to attach with 1a or 1e it will only reflect 1e machine to you not 1a and why it is happening because volume are availability zone specific now what is the meaning of availability zone specific if you your machine is in 1e zone and the volume is also in 1e zone so that has to be the machine the second machine in which you are going to attach this volume it also have to be in the same availability zone so you can only attach this 4 gb volume from uh, removed from 1e to only this this machine that is one if you are removing 
4 GB volume from machine number 1 then you have only option available with you is to attach it with one uh, sorry third machine you can't attach with this but what about you want to attach with this also you are uh, means like there was the use case no you don't want to attach that 4 GB volume with uh, not third machine you want to attach it with the 2 GB to second machine then in that case what you need to do first you need to create a snapshot a snap is nothing but the copy of your volume okay once you are done with the snapshot then you need to create another volume in one a region a one a zone then you need to attach it with this machine now what is the meaning of these three steps volumes are availability zone specific but the snapshots are region specific okay snapshots yeah uh, any question um so if i'm not wrong uh, we are not transferring any volume particularly we are just uh, copying one uh, regions uh, one volumes data with snapshot to another volume data right? in in this with case in yes yes in okay. second scenario in first scenario i was directly attaching this volume with uh, machine this third machine why okay. i'm able to do that because, it's, because they both they, are they in are same region same availability zone a uh, same availability zone sorry okay like in a same data center okay but here we are not able to perform that task i will show you in the screen why i am not able to perform so for doing that work exactly the um, the way i want i need to first create a snap that's a copy of your uh, uh, volume and then you need to again create a volume but in a different availability zone see the, in that case this volume will be in 1e and this will be in 1a okay you have you will have two volumes in this case but they both are in a different availability zone but in first case scenario you will have that in a single availability zone single uh, volume and you are moving the same volume here you are moving a different volume okay any doubt till here no okay great now let's just uh, do this these two in practical way see we were having uh, that 4 GB volume we have created some sample uh, here also now let me go and uh, first log in with the uh, volume machine number 3 let me log in because this is in the same region get the password upload Let me close this session. Okay. So see, if I will go inside volume tab, okay, I will have extra two extra 30 GB of volume. So we are not focusing on that part. We are only just worried about this 4 GB. If you will go here, see, this is in in use option right so if i want to try and attach i am not able to attach this volume one point and this is my third machine and if i will go inside this third machine i will see obviously we will have only one uh, volume that is c drive so now just simply go and click on this volume and simply detach this volume okay so what you did you removed that volume from first machine it will take one one minute around to remove see this is now in available state right 
now what you can do you just directly select it and go to this and see now this did attach option is enabled just click on this and just go down and see you will able to see two instances one the original instance uh, windows volume machine that was uh, earlier machine like first machine and this is the windows volume third machine which is in the same region you are not able to see the second machine which is in a different region okay so just select that and here and attach now just go inside this machine and refresh whether you are able to see see you are not able to see and now to make it this disk available you need to make it online from disk manager so just go and select disk see now you are able to see that 4 gb here just go and simply make it online initialize or uh, you will able to see yeah no mm -hmm. See, now it is available here just click on this see you are able to see both the file in this machine also now I am not comfortable with this 4 GB of space I want to increase this so how to do that just simply go and select it and under this action option you will be able to see where is that see modify volume under this volume you can change the volume type you can change the size you can change the IOPS and the throughput so anything you can do only these three so if that volume is online you can increase the size but you can't decrease the size if I will try to decrease see the size of the volume can only be increased not decreased so what I will do now I will change it as a 6 GB and click on modify and modify once you are done with the modification, in modification it will be, it will take again half of the minute. <clears throat> okay, let me check whether it is C. If you will see, you will have extra 2 GB allocation space here. So what you need to do, you need to first see here shrink volume under this you will able to see the extra space how to shrink it and all located I want to make it available one second if I'll go that will create a new volume no I want to shrink it extend volume see under this extend volume it, it is giving me that extra space you want to attach the complete extra space or you want to reduce some size so I want to give complete space and finish once I am done I will go to there and then I can see this as 6 GB understood now this is one point any doubt till here what I have done no okay so now I am going to this part, the second uh, option. What we will do, we are now having this 6 GB of volume, right? Now I want to attach that 6 GB which I have changed from here like this. Let me select 6 GB volume to this machine. Now what, how we will do? If I will try directly to attaching this, obviously we have just seen that this option will not come to attach directly. For that, I need to create a copy of this volume. So we cannot directly create the copy of the volume. What we need to do, we need to create a snap. So while creating a snapshot, 
I need to create a snap and under this I need to give the description okay so whatever any description copy for one eight machine sorry create a snap so I'm just creating copy for one a machine simple nothing more fancy thing only just give the name tag uh, and tag I'm giving snap for 6 GB volume okay create a snapshot so when I will cre click on create a snapshot it will move and go and create this snapshot of that volume now while creating a snapshot if you have noticed that we have not selected any availability zone so it means that is region specific okay just give me a minute so that will create a snapshot see in use optimizing is 99 percent it take time though it is visible here but it will take time okay okay see the snapshot is completed now i want to see once again let me check where is my machine it's in 1a okay so i will go to snap and i will just click here and i will go to action and what i will do i want to create a volume from it here so simple create a volume so while creating a volume again i can increase the size i can't decrease the size okay so what i will do i will just create a 8 gp just to make a difference and now i have an option to select availability zones so with that snap i can go and create that volume in any of the availability zone but as my machine is in 1a so i will go and select 1a see now you have an option also to encrypt so this is very very important question for interview and for the uh, exam also if the volume initially uh, just listen this line very carefully if that volume is not encrypted so if you will copy the snapshot that will also not be encrypted if that volume is encrypted so snap what you will create will also be encrypted but what about if the volume is not encrypted and the snap is not encrypted but you want to create a volume which has to be encrypted in that case what you need to do you need to create a snapshot and while creating a volume you can encrypt it see the same while see we were having not uh, uh, dict means like non encrypted uh, volume we have created a snapshot which was also not encrypted but now while creating a new volume we are having an option to encrypt it so if someone will ask you the question that I have a volume which is not encrypted and I want to uh, encrypt after that means like initially that was not encrypted but I want to encrypt it. So it's a very simple question you cannot directly encrypt it you have to first create a snapshot then you can create another volume with the encryption then only you can go ahead. Okay one point. So now next point is yeah we are going to create this volume and there is also a question how to increase the size of the volume so we have just seen it's very simple just go to the console and you can increase it and you can then you can make it online people think that while uh, they while someone asks this question they think that this is very difficult but it's not difficult it's just the understanding if you will do more practice it's very easy to answer those questions under this volume again if you will see see the 8 gb volume is now available okay now i what i will do under this 8 gb volume again i will go to action and now i have an option to attach and in this scenario you will get again the two uh, machines one that that other one is the previous machine but you will only see this volume 2 machine 2 
you are not getting machine 1 or machine 3. So I will go and select this machine 2 and attach it. Now if I will go inside that machine, machine number 3, I need to log in. That is machine number 2, sorry. Again connect and get the RDP, get the password. Next open the RDP. Okay. So if you will go and see, there is only one option that is C. You are not able to get that 8 GB of volume. So again, you need to make it online, then it will available. open this okay why which okay yeah see that 6 GB is allocated that extra 2 GB is unallocated so for that you need to allocate but before that you need to first make it online online and if you will, now you are having an option, you can directly go with the 6 GB, but you want to increase it with 8 GB. So what we can do, we can extend the volume. Or if you will go and see this 6 GB is here and the two files are still here. Now I want to make it as a 8 GB, the simple, same process. And if you will go back, this PC, see, you are able to see this. So, uh, any doubt till here? No. Okay. Now, next point is, the whatever thing we have performed is in the same region. Now, what I want to do, I want to perform this, uh, I want to share this volume in different uh, region or a different account also. So, See, this is 8 GB of uh, machine 2 volume, for example. Okay. I want to share this 8 GB of the volume, which is having some of the important files. Right. See, these two are there, but let me create an extra file. A folder 8 GB. Okay. I created some changes. Now, if I will go to go here and see. I have these options just go and explore these options so what I can do either I can go and create a snapshot or life cycle policy is nothing but just uh, I am rule and all those things but, but once we will read this I am rule then only I will explain what does it mean so leave this as of now uh, where is that okay. volume okay see under this let me go and create see I have already available one snap option with me so two thing i can do i recently added these uh, some file into this so I, I need to again go and create a volume again you need to create a snap sorry see under this 8 gb now we have one extra file available but under this snap we don't have any extra file available we only have a 6 gb of volume so if i wanted to create a volume again or i wanted to copy this or i wanted to share with someone i can only share till 6 gb not extra 2 gb not extra file but now i wanted to share that additional part that i was talking about the incremental thing so for that i need to go again go to the volume i need to again create this machine and again action i need to again create a snap so i need to give the extra uh, 2 gb total 8 gb for example okay create a snap so it is creating a snap of it okay let me name it as a 8 gb snap action now under action if you will see we have a create volume from snap we have a copy option also we have a modify permission also 
Now, what does it mean? One thing, if I wanted to share this volume with other person, I will not get any option here. But if I wanted to share this volume or the complete data with you, either it could be Jasmeet or Ashwati, if I wanted to share both of you, what I will do, I will just simply go and create under action option. I will modify permission. Under this, I will get that account ID which I wanted to add. So if I will add your account ID, I will able to share that snap with you. We can't share volume. We can share snap with other account ID. Okay. This is one part. Now, let, now second point, I want to uh, copy this. I want to share this snap with other region also right now i'm in a north virginia i wanted to go share in the mumbai region so how we will do we just simply click on copy and under this copy we just go and select okay we are only getting uh, these many options like a name so let me go and check the code of mumbai mumbai code is ap south one so i need to select ap south one this is the option and see we can also encrypt here now copy snapshot okay so simply go to the mumbai region under this mumbai ec2 and under this mumbai region snap is there see so it is copied from east one it is completed and it is available now if you wanted to use it and if you wanted to, to uh, get the data what is inside this for that you need to create a volume and you need to create one machine and attach that volume with that machine and you are good to go so we have moved a data from north virginia to mumbai also this is how you can move it just do this practical demo by yourself and if you will feel uh, get any doubt just come back we will discuss now what practical you need to do you need to till here uh, we have copied now in the second region you need to create one instance and you need to create a one volume from here from this and then you need to attach that volume with that machine newly created machine and go and log in and check whether you are able to see the data which is been uh, present in the North Virginia region okay and explore the option while creating a volume while creating a snap everything that if you can increase the size or not like that one point any doubt till here no okay now this is uh, about the volume part how you can share how can you do you also have a option to create an image okay but for creating an image it's always recommended to select a root volume also like for example i have this these 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 volumes are available 30 gb volumes so root volumes right what is the meaning of root volume now let me explain root volumes are those volume where your operating system application everything has been installed it's kind of c drive without c drive we can't uh, start our machine right we need some bootable files inside there so that we can install so same way there is a root volume okay and one more thing while creating a root volume not like that while creating an instance any instance if you will go here under this volume section uh, let me go to windows option so it will give you a clear idea yeah see right now it will sh tell you that this is not encrypted root volume is not encrypted but while creating also you just go in advance open this and you can encrypt or decrypt so there is the option while creating itself you have option to encrypt there is one more option that is delete on termination what is the meaning of delete on termination see whenever let me delete first this from mumbai reason otherwise i will forget let me go to North Virginia. Under North Virginia, just see. This is the instance, right? We have an instance. And if I wanted to terminate, 
if I will go and click here on terminate option see while terminating it will terminate the volumes also but I don't want I want to keep that volume with me so how can I keep it right I need to enable see here delete on termination is enabled so what we can do under action I guess we can change that permission instance setting change the termination protection just click on this okay this is not that part that one <laughs> under this let me try okay no we cannot enable after that we have to uh, enable this option while creating only see while creating only if i will go and create a uh, delete on termination no so what will happen while terminating machine will be terminated but this volume will be present inside this volume tab that will be in available state so that we can use it and uh, one more point if i have created a one root volume and i wanted to uh, share that root volume with other person we can do that the same way you can create a snapshot and you can uh, again go and uh, create a copy of that volume then you can use it as a normal volume also if i wanted to use this root volume as a main c drive so what we need to do we need to first create a snap of this root volume after creating a snap we need to go and select this create image option so while creating an image image is like a ami you are giving that 30 gb uh, volume to this image now let me explain you diagrammatically see we have one machine here under this machine we have a c drive okay initially that c drive was, was having only operating system but you have done done some changes you have installed some of the customized application inside this application now what you want if there is one option is available one is you can directly go and create an image at the end of the day it will do the same job what we are going there is another way of using this root volume is why we required for example we have one machine available with us right which is still uh, which is again having a 30 gb of space and it is having uh application like abc application abc app and you have here abc plus xyz also right now instead of installing xyz here you are facing from some trouble you trouble you want to attach this with this so what you can do you have to stop this machine you need to remove this you have to create a snap of this okay under snap you can uh, again create a new volume or if they both are in a uh, same region for example so so it's very easy to attach this remove this and attach this and then again up the machine it will automatically take this as a root volume one point second if they both are in a different region or different availability zone in that case you need to create a snap you need to create a volume and then you need to attach it with this so it will take that third point is you just create a snap of this see snap volume then machine and attach so here you are doing some extra job uh, it's like see uh, there are again a two way let me explain once again because it's very confusing see. Uh, i have one doubt uh, mm -hmm. like i have a question basically so uh, you are saying uh, in machine one, uh, if we terminate the machine, right? So uh, the OS file for the window, it will automatically go deleted. Just yes, remain. if that yes, if that delete on termination policy is enabled, so everything will be deleted. If that delete and on termination, yeah. What mm -hmm. about some applications? If uh, let's say everything I have some will orders, be gone. Uh, everything okay. see if you have a, a drive extra available and that is also having a delete on termination option option available everything will be related with this machine will will be deleted but if you want to save it you only want to release the machine you don't want to delete this drive you have to ma uh, that 
uh, tell uh, AWS that you don't want to delete these volumes. You can take the machine, but volume should be there. So basically what we are doing is uh, for machine one, uh, if I want to attach that 30 GB of uh, uh, drive with a uh, machine two, uh, first, uh, first step you said like uh, we have to completely uh, terminate the machine and then we can attach no uh, no 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 i'm not talking about terminate it's stop stop and terminate both are different in termination you release this machine but in the case of stop you are keeping hardware uh, you are only releasing this hardware as of now uh, but, but you said there is an option for us where we can select uh, uh where we can that select is dedic oh, yeah yeah that oh, is dedicated host only okay yeah. so it's a different use case dedicated host is for a different use case we are only discussing normal thing right okay. dedicated is like just only for those companies which are very much keen towards the hardware part we are talking in general terms what happened how practically things work okay i'm just assuming that uh, machine one and machine two are both in same uh same availability zone and uh, mm -hmm. if we attach if we want to attach volume one with volume two we have mm -hmm. to basically stop the machine one mm -hmm. correct correct and, okay. then, yeah. and then we will gonna attach that uh, volume to machine two but if we are attaching that volume with machine two say uh, all the os file will be uh, will be there in machine two right right correct and it will and up uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, if OS, uh, if uh, in machine to have that all the OS uh, files there, so basically machine is also there, right? Or no? Or it uh, doesn't make sense. No, I didn't understood your uh, question. Just give me one second. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, now repeat once again that question. You are asking, I guess, that uh, uh, let me reframe. If it is wrong, then just correct me. You are asking that if I am sharing this with this machine, with this machine here, is this work the way it, it, this machine was working? This is, is this the question? Um, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. See, let me because... tell you one by one. One second, okay. just allow me one second, one by one. First, they both are in the same uh, region, okay? Same availability zone, sorry. So, in the same availability zone case, this machine already having one volume. Suppose this is one, one, this is volume number two, then this is volume number one. I'm just giving the volume name. What I want to do, I want to attach this volume number one with this machine. So, we can do directly remove it from here and we can attach it but in that case that volume number one will be treated as an extra volume here it won't be treated as a root volume right so if i wanted to attach as a root volume i just simply go and remove that and then we can attach it Okay, this is one point. Now, second point is, I want to, uh, how to explain that? One second. Yeah, so, I want uh, to. My question is like, if I am attaching this root one volume, uh, root, basically machine one root volume to the second machine, what will happen to that machine? Because uh, will Which, that machine will working or it will stop working? This machine, uh, machine number two, right? Number one. Number one. Number because one will right stop. Now, yeah. Right now it will stop. Stops. Uh, stops. Uh, but uh, we can restart that machine, right? In, mm, in later right. time. So if we yes. restart that machine, uh, will it work or no? It will not work because there is no volume. Nothing is present. So it's like a completely no use machine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the basic. Mm -hmm. uh, that is yes. my basic. Okay. Right. Now the second point is. I don't want to remove completely. I want to only share this with this machine, but I want to keep this machine up 
also in that case what you will do you just need to create a you need to create a snap and then you can create a volume of it and then you can share so in this scenario this machine also be up and this other one will also be up with the same application this is one point but instead of doing this much of problem the best practice is you can go and directly create an ami out of it and simply go and create a machine out of it in a way at the end of the day you are removing this volume you are and when we stop it will change the hardware also right as a basic functionality so there is no point of doing this much of confusing confusion thing i was just only trying to explain you this is practically possible but this is not the best practice so to follow the best practice instead of going and doing all the stuff better way is to create a ami and create a machine out of it this is what i was trying to explain understood um uh so you are saying for first machine we have to create ami mm -hmm. and then yes. create a machine yes. of it yes but that's the same thing right uh yes. it, it will it will do the 30 gb and but it is it is good with if we want to use in different availability zone but if it's in the same availability zone we don't same have same also you AMI. can create no 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 same availability zone also we can create and it has to create it's a best practice to create that but what is the benefit of that uh what is the because benefit the of same, doing because it's the same same volume it is a 30 gb volume for first one ami will be also 30 gb and it's in the same so it just creating ami right uh, yes yes What's the benefit now benefit, benefit. yes the mm -hmm. benefit is here in this case you are creating a snapshot and then you are creating a volume but in this in this scenario okay so i'm just saying in first scenario where we are attaching the first uh, machine volume with machine 2 in this we are getting the benefit right like, in machine 2 we are getting 30 gb root volume plus 30 gb of the first volume so we are getting more uh, volumes right so that that is giving the benefit but in creating ami we are just having like let's say i am creating the uh, ami for of the first machine the ami will also will be the 30 gb right correct but yes um, so what is the benefit na yeah okay let me explain you see there are two scenarios i i explained one was we were sharing we want the same volume to be attached with this machine in that case what we have to do we need to create a snap then we need to create a volume and then we need to remove this and we need to attach it in in place of this uh, so in, yeah it's in the different availability zone right you are talking about no, different availability no. zone yeah, oh. yeah, no no yeah yeah in a no 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 not uh, different availability zone same because it's in a same re, uh, same place uh, no sorry in a same place for attaching a same volume you need to you can directly attach it I, for, yeah. in first scenario i was talking about to replace the existing volume and in the second scenario i was talking to attach as a different also this was i was explaining as a option uh let me reframe it again because i that i thought you got uh, confused between the scenarios mm -hmm. see just listen carefully for a, a minute this is machine 1 this is machine 2 okay we have one volume available and here also i have a existing volume in first scenario i want to replace this volume with this volume okay replace okay okay so for that in that case they have both have to be in the same availability zone so for replacing it's very easy we just we simply detach from here and we can attach it in this uh, machine and for attaching i need to detach this also yes and by stopping the incident yeah okay yes, i got that great got, got that now second point in the second option what i want to do as they both are not in the same region same availability zone so for in that case i need to 
uh, create a snap of it. Uh -huh. I need to create a volume from it in a one B. And then the I need to remove okay. this, and then in, I need to attach it. Okay, here. I got that. Okay. Understood. I, I, I don't know about like you are talking about replace. I just thought. Uh, you no, it's okay. No problem. Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay, now no problem. I, now I got the point. Thank you. But my question here is: Is this the the point? What I was I was trying to explain you is now this one. Just listen this line. Ah. Uh, first point i understood it was very clear for me that okay i want to attach the same volume with this so that is very uh, direct work which is good but in the second scenario what i am doing i am creating a snap i am creating a volume i am then again attaching it i am just stopping the machine i am uh, uh, i may make it available of this machine these many steps are i am doing at the end of the day when we stop any machine amazon is having a functionality to change the hardware and i'm changing the volume also so indirectly i am changing the whole machine so instead of doing the second scenario one direct and the best practice solution is available that is go and create a AMI out of it and just simply launch one more machine. So it will help you to save the cost. How it will self say help you to save the cost? Here you need to pay the charges for one snap, then one volume, and then machine. But here, here also they are creating one volume out of it. But and the one snap also, but here not uh, they are not saving the cost. Here also you are uh, doing the snap and volume, but it is just about the management thing. It's quite easy to identify. Understood what I was trying to explain here. Yeah, I got perfectly your point. So you are saying in 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 the case of uh, it is best practice not not to replace the root volume. We just create an uh, AMI. Because if we are create if we are replacing the root volume indirectly, it's gonna uh, it's gonna create the uh, image of that machine basically, right? Correct. Mirror. Uh, Mirror right. image. Yeah. Here we are doing the same task same. in a part manually, and here it is quite simple and straightforward thing. Okay. Yeah, so this is about the volumes and snapshots, and you have to utilize this at max because this is quite confusing and very much question came in the exam. Too much questions are there in the exam, so I only explain till here. Now and this one. Now let's just move with the instance store also. This is also one small topic. now see there are two types of uh, uh, volumes are available one was the ebs which we were seeing till now the other one is the instance store now what is the meaning of instance store let me show you this diagram see now you will understand here if you will see this definition you can launch an instance from either an instance stored back or okay 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 one second what is the meaning of instance store first instance store that use instance store for the root device automatically no instance store is a kind of a temporary storage now what is the meaning of temporary storage and why it is the temporary see amazon is having so many racks available right so they have a rack for hardware they have a different rack here from here you will get the hardware like this and for uh, uh, storage they have a different storage call it as a san storage so whatever volume you are getting 
to attach with your machine they are coming from the SAN storage it's a separate storage that's why whenever you stop your machine they uh, change the hardware but the storage is safe so that storage is coming from some other space some other rack and attaching with your machine right they are network attached not direct attached let me explain again write it here network attached okay now what is the meaning of network attached because they are attaching via some uh, network or some cable but what about the direct attach direct attach means they also have some small small uh, storage option available in the same rack okay but what they will do they are directly attached with the machine okay so if you will launch that instance suppose this is instance is this one okay which is having one volume of here from sand storage that is cde which we were using till now but what i want to uh, use it uh, instance store also that is called ephemeral storage ephemeral means the temporary storage so it will attach from here from the same rack right and they are direct attached what is the purpose of direct attached direct attached so what does it means is your storage and your machine are in a same rack they are directly attached with the cable so in that case your machine performance will be fast because this is performing directly in the same rack but this will be more costly one point second point whenever you will stop the machine this ephemeral storage will be gone they are kind of a temporary storage why and they are a limited instances they are not uh, a kind of uh, available for all there are very few instances which is having a ephemeral storage so it's, a, it's kind of temporary files one point the second point is what's the use case of it so the use case of it is you have suppose 10,000 GB data available with you database one database you have which is having 10,000 of data record right and you want to process it so if you will uh, put this data into this volume which is in SAN storage volume here so and you are processing that in this machine so as the uh, data is high performance is high it requires a lot of cpus and the processing speed and the extra thing what is uh, performing is the network process also so to avoid this network latency what we can do we can process this data in ephemeral storage so it will be quite faster than this performance so this performance will be little slow but the direct performance will be easier because it is performing directly as we are working on very small scale right now we are only doing small small practicals so we are not able to see the latency part but in terms of industry it's very very critical point to uh, you know to focus on the latency and IOPS all those things they are very very keen towards this so that's why this is very important and they have uh, implemented this ephemeral storage or instance storage now if i wanted to see any of the machine which is having an instance uh, of ephemeral so let me take uh, that will be i guess in the market um, yeah just go and search But now I'm not able to find that instance, instance storage. Here it will be reflect. Okay. Uh, that is, see this one. Yeah. Here yeah, root device type is instance store. See. It will not be available in here. It will be in the community part. 
and under market also it has to be there it's not there okay okay i will uh, bring one example tomorrow for instance stories otherwise will take too much time right now to explain that part so yeah one more point i want to highlight in a, in the exam you will see two term that is instance store backed ami or instance store backed instance or amazon ebs backed instance what is these two term means very very critical just listen and very confusing instance store backed and ebs backed what is this backed means whenever they are talking with ab about the backed it means they are talking about the root volume okay always try to understand the question if they are talking about instance store backed or ebs backed it means they are talking about the root volume this one c drive okay and if they are talking about normal instance store volume or ebs volume okay it means they are talking about a normal volume d e or f whatever volume we are attaching okay here in this case instance store backed volume and ebs backed volume means the c drive is instance store type or the ebs backed type so obviously instance store backed uh, type of c drive is faster than the ebs backed store but the only problem is if in any case you have stopped that machine this volume even though if it is a root volume it will be gone it will not be there you have lost this machine so we very careful while choosing as a c drive as a instance store i told you the use case this is the one of the best use case whenever you want to process a high intensity data which required a high performance in that case only you use instance store otherwise it's always recommended to have at least a c drive with ebs backed not a instance store backed but there are industry they have a use case so they required instance store also as a c drive and the practical demo for instance store backed i will share tomorrow but till now any doubt no okay thanks for watching please subscribe my channel